Alright then, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. Um, so, got 288 kill left after I visit the inn one more time. And I decked out everyone in Materia, which you'll see as soon as I press the right button. Uh, Cloud's got all ice on for the swarms I'm probably going to find in the Mithril Mines. I think they're going to be weak to ice, but I'm not sure. Wait, no, weren't those the ice snakes in particular? Maybe I'll need to swap that out to fire, um, but I don't remember for sure. Maybe I'll just do it now. I'm going to trust my gut. He's got all fire for those ice snakes that are going to show up in swarms. Uh, also got sense and restore. You know, I probably don't need restore in these fights. I'm second guessing myself because I probably want ice on someone. He's got all gravity, also to help out with those swarms, and major magic to finish them off. Osmos is always nice too, and calioka has got added effect plus poison, so that should hopefully work on just about everything some of the time. She also came with this very nice time materia, which not only is pretty amazing to begin with, because haste and slow are very, very important, but it also boosts vitality and magic defense which is a surprise to me. I thought it would reduce it, but... Um, we've got Morph on her because she's going to be my physical attacker, and cover counter, as well as the heal that I've been leaving on my physical attacker in case I need to use it, because it costs a lot, and I would rather not be using that MP for anything else. Kalioka also came with Throw, which I'm not using right now. I don't really like to use Throw in this game, much. Even though it's like it's powerful, I don't really know how it's balanced in New Threat. I didn't really use it last time. I'm sure it's less ridiculous than before, but it still requires consuming weapons, so... or large amounts of cash, so I don't think I'll use it much. We also got Enemy Away, which I also don't use much. I don't like manipulating the enemy encounter rates that much. I prefer to just go with the flow so that I get the proper amount of VXP for any particular area. And finally we got Exit, which I couldn't care less about for the exact same reasons I don't care about Enemy Away. I won't... I probably won't try to run from a battle anytime soon. Um, so yeah, but the time material is a huge find. Uh, I think that's everything. Unless I want to... I'll put ice on Cloud, I think. I'll remove this restore material and put ice on Cloud. Especially since ice needs leveling the most. See, that's the good thing about going over my setup, is that I get chances to find holes in it. And now I think I'm heading off this direction. Gotta hug the mountain range here and head down to the Chocobo Ranch. Alright, battle number one. Ooh, we got one of these sentient motorbikes, apparently. Um, I think I'll take out the thief first, though. I don't want him stealing my stuff. She... Kalioka is kind of weak, but... What can you do? She's mostly an evasive character who... I guess I'll go all opponents. See, now she has perfect dodge on for a while, so that should be, hopefully be a huge help. I'm not going to try to morph this guy. I haven't seen them act yet, but I don't want to see them act either, so... I'm hoping I can probably get an MP refill at the Chocobo Ranch, so I'm not too worried about blowing away my MP here. Alright, let's sense him now. Let's see if I can get anything good for morphing him. 300 left. Weak against Bolt, obviously, but I don't have any of that right now. Well, she didn't evade that. And she counterattacked. Um, I'm gonna do this. 
shoot Kelly now, so I don't want to have her back. Uh, um, I feel like this would be nice use for Demi as well. Yeah, so it does a quarter of their HP. Kelly and Piscap also got pretty intense speed. Oh, don't capture that, please. Okay, good. That's one of the difficulties as you go farther and farther is that the captures get more likely. Hopefully she gets for one more damage than last time. Nope. Cool, potion. I mean, it's something I can use the potion, but... Let's see what I get for the morph, which is usually a great deal better. Iron Bangle. Do I have one of those? I don't even think I do have one of those. I think it's basically just a defensive upgrade to the... Yeah. This is quote-unquote strong armor. Quite a huge defense bonus. And useful for these cover counter type setups as well. I kind of don't want to give up the... The dexterity I can live without on Kalioka because she's got 110. So sacrificing 20 barely puts a dent in that. Uh... I would definitely be sacrificing her added effect plus poison, though. I might choose to do that at some point in the future, but not for the moment. Might as well save since I'm on the overworld. Either way, it's nice to have the option. Piley also has Osmos, so if I really do need more MP... Uh... I do have a way to get it. So I forget how this Chocobo Ranch part goes in New Threat. I don't... I feel like it was something different, but I don't know what was different. We got lots of stuff in this fight. Um, I guess haste yourself to have kind of monstrous speed. For what I'm probably going to be morphing later. Right now I'm going to be wanting to hit a few enemies at once, so... Alright, she gets her turn back that she used to haste herself. And now I can use Grease Lightning. I'll hit this guy since he hasn't been hit yet. Oh, magic doesn't do much damage to those weeds. So even though this is hitting the weakness, probably it's not gonna do that much. We also get our limit boost here. Okay, so this begs a question, which one do I want to hit? Probably one of these Mandragoras, because it's going to be hard to kill them with the other two. Mm. Hopefully they have low HP as well. Just look at that speed. She's running laps around the other two characters. I probably should have waited in the menu there. And I'll cross slash this guy. I think the Alpha Dunk has been hit harder, so I'm gonna hit him. Oh, he's got defense. Okay, I won't do that. Hopefully this doesn't just kill them both. That didn't even come close. Or at least it doesn't look like it came close. Dang, he's got some HP. Well, because it's surprising, I think, but it doesn't change much since I still don't have any lightning or earth on my characters right now. I'm not preparing for the overall section. Okay, I've got really careful with that poison. It's also on slow face of the grease lightning. Okay, hopefully the poison doesn't do it. I don't know how much I don't remember how much poison it does exactly. The fact that it's on slow is making this more irritating. Huh, thought I'd be very sad somehow. Let's see that I just know that the moment I go to try and attack him, he's going to uh, die from the poison. Yes, that helps you defend. This is taking longer than I expected, even. I wonder if that thing is just slow to begin with. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I worked about it as well as I could. Eye potion isn't something I'll say no to, that's for sure. That was quite a bit of EXP, considering... Level 20 is a hard level to get past. And now I've got Fury on Cloud, which I'd say is probably an advantage over being neutral, so I'll take the free Fury. 
Though not being able to rely on him hitting is unfortunate. I think one of these options gives me Chocomog, but I don't remember which one, so let's just go in order. Those two Chocobos at the back are uh, decapitating each other every single time they do that head twirl thing. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> Woot! Chocomog. That's another nice option for these swarms around here. Also costs a buttload of MP. To keep mage to keep enemy skill around for now. I really like Gravity All, but I feel like Chocomog would just do the same job but better for the most part, and it would get me an extra slot. I'll keep Gravity on there, just Gravity itself, because Demi 2 is a huge bonus over Demi. Because it means if you're hitting a weakness, you want to hit KO something, and I want that property. That's a pretty important threshold to, ki to hit. Demi-3 isn't quite as important. So I'll leave gravity on there, but just remove the all. It also means that he gets a plus 10 magic bonus effectively, compared to what he has without that. Because he gets 5 from the Chocomog, and he gets 5 from not having an all material on. So I think that's a pretty solid improvement. And he's got Major Magic for when he wants a less over-the-top option. Alright. Feeling a little bit more prepared than I did two seconds ago, and let's talk to Choco Bill. Nope, don't care. Only way, huh? I wonder if he's... Sega Chief is making the fun of the fact that it's obviously not the only way, or if he's hinting that this time around, in New Threat, it is the only way. Either way, I'll just do it. <laughs> As I recall, he's pretty darn near impossible to kill right now, as well. It's a lot more expensive than in Calm, which makes sense because it's in a much more prime position. But I think it's worth it for now. It's still not, like, expensive expensive, compared to the items I'd have to use to heal my MP and whatnot. Hello, Choco Kid. Give it to me, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, I already know this, why did I even bother? Oh, I guess I need to say it anyway. Gil. I have just enough, probably. Pro really just because of those randoms, otherwise I wouldn't have enough at all. <laughs> just buy the most expensive ones. Yeah, no. No thanks. I, I hope Gesho Greens are enough to catch it, since I already have two and don't have to pay for them at all.
Now you're just making me feel guilty for not buying any of the greens. Alright, because I'll end up back on the Chocobo right away, I'm not going to be able to return to the inn after I catch it. So this battle's got to go on the record for everything that needs to happen in the mines. Okay, so I have still 800 gil right now. That's not as bad as I thought. Well, there's no Chocobo music, so this isn't a Chocobo. Alright, you're obviously going to hit this thing. I could summon Chocobo, Choco Monk, but that seems like a huge waste. But again, whoa, that's 70 MP. Okay, that's definitely a huge waste. I should have done something else with Nishi. I could have gotten this off after Kalioka's animation. That's not good. Her magic defense is awful. Gets two attacks there, but... I could laser it, I suppose. It's honestly more efficient than trying to... use Demi. Let's try ice. If it's waterish, it might resist fire. And I'll just have her heal herself. There goes that potion I stole last time. Yeah, I've got no other attacking spells. Can I get anything from you? It's also super slow, looks like. Good, I stole the rest of it, so it's not going to be using that water shower anytime soon. Even though it's pretty cheap to begin with. slow instead of added effect poison. Free sadness, though. This just doesn't go with my plan to morph stuff. Oh, and I don't have the chocobo lure on. That was stupid. Now let's actually have a chance to find a chocobo. Yeah, there's that music I wanted to hear. Alright, Yuffie's fast, so let's just get off the Gissel greens right away. Or Curiel greens, apparently. Wait. I just didn't sort. I have Gissel Greens down at the bottom. Alright, so I shouldn't burn it, obviously. And I can't use Major Magic either. Considering I'm kind of set up to deal with Swarm Sight now, this isn't an ideal fight. I mean, nothing with the Chocobo would be an ideal fight really right at the mo moment. Eh, 
piley has got nothing else to do, so I think I should slut fang this guy. Keep eating, Chocobo. Keep eating. I definitely don't want to let the timer run right now. Well, that's one down. I guess I'll hit it. Oh, with the crit, that was definitely worthwhile. I wonder if this would be more effective. I don't know. I feel like Bolt is the thing that would be most effective. Uh oh. Um, let's chuck the other Gissel Greens at it. I should have enough time, I'm good. The chocobo catching in this game is so weird. <laughs> Just in concept, how they always show up with other enemies and then... Oh, 21 is the level that's hard to get past. Okay. Because Cloud gained almost nothing from that, even though Piley and Kalioka gained quite a plenty. Alright. can't go into the menu, so... Alright, uh, please show me a different view of the world. I still have to be careful to avoid the Zolom. Okay, I think I can make it. There we go. This is pretty impressive. <laughs> Kalioka sounds so respectful, eh, Piley? Uh, what? I can't see. Bye, Chocobo! Thanks for the help. Okay, it's now time to actually enter the Mithril Mines here. Well, let's hope this goes well. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way first. Let's turn on the hand. Where'd the hand go? There's the hand. I know I should stop talking to the hand, but. And there's a materia up here. EXP plus. Huh. Minus to Vitality and Magic Defense. Again, I don't really like manipulating the EXP much. I wish, wish there was an EXP minus that I could give to Cloud, just because he'll get ahead of everyone by nature being the main character, but... Okay, it's a giant flying thing that's pretty good to hit with laser, I think. But I should probably hit it with Osmos instead. That didn't do much damage at all. Cool, he got the full thing. That's nice to have. And he absorbed Cloud's HP. Let's see how tanky this thing is. Both 80, weak against Bolt, weak against Gravity, weak against Wind. Unfortunately, this isn't Yuffie's Wind Elemental weapon, and she missed. Alright, so now let's laser this guy. One third max HP will turn into two thirds, I hope. Yep, that was solid. If he's this hard to hit, morphing him will be tricky. Especially since he heals with his attacks. That did nothing. Um, 
I still think it's more efficient to use laser. Oh, right, I forgot that's max HP. Okay. Well, I don't get a chance to try and morph the big guy, but... I did get all of my Pylee's MP back, but I just used it all again, so... That wasn't really a net win in any way. Oh, Aether, Tent. I'll take those things. More consumables is always useful to have around. Um, okay, so I think the snakes are weak to fire, and the crabs are weak to ice. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Hopefully these aren't, like, super physically tanky or something. Okay, we got one dead crab. Let's try to thin the herd before I start getting a barrage of attacks. Alright, let's take this one out since it hasn't attacked yet, and hasn't taken very much damage. Nice, that worked. Now let's make your magic and hope I don't kill everything. Um, you're probably the closest to death. That's my suspicion anyway. Yes, that's just about perfect. Yes, they're not very tanky either. Antarctic wind for free. Oh shoot, I should have awesome said just in case had something to steal. I mean, some MP to steal. 333, we can get water, which doesn't help me at all, so now we can't fire. Maybe that's our food costs MP, I don't know. It doesn't make it something from them. Okay, I got 24, I'll take it. Okay, let's have cloud hit it. Dang it. Or apparently miss it. Jerk. Maybe I'll just hit that one. Alright, I'm gonna use potions for the healing for the moment, because uh, Red's MP isn't super high anymore. And I don't really know when the next bucket of Osmos will be. Okay, these guys. Alright, let's send some to see what's up with them. Against poison. Alright. Let's nature magic them. I should have tried to Osmos first, in all honesty, but. Major magic is about as good an offense as I have right now. Dang it, blind. Combined with the. Can I use it, I think? Nah, I should just use Yuffie's turn to heal it. And then I'll burn the boat. Alright, let's see if I can get anything. If I can get anything at all, I can get it twice. Not much. Oh, she defended Cloud, and now she has perfect dodge, so that works out. I'm gonna attack the back one, because the fire is just exactly what I want right now on the front one. I'll have Cloud go first. I don't know how much exactly it'll have left. I hope that was animation moves more dialogue when praying every single time. Um, okay. So now I'll try and steal it. It's hit by a moment cross slash. I'm getting lucky that I'll be pretty close to tell you without actually doing it. Can you 
it's seven. I'm not even sure if it's possible in all honesty. more should do it. Just don't wake up and get a character panic, please. Wow, it was just enough to kill. At least I know this'll work. Earth drop. Okay, what power is that? It's probably just Quake 2. In which case, I've probably got a use case for it somewhere. Earth damage. Hang on. So they don't have the different levels of... Okay, in New Thread, there used to be different levels of each type of damage, but now apparently there aren't. I meant that you could get some pretty insane stuff that would do, like, Arrow 4, and... I Like, I dropped an Arrow 4 item on Gene Attack, and it basically half-killed him in one hit. But I guess that's not possible anymore, unless I'm gonna get, like, strong earth damage or something. Maiden's Grace. Uh, why am I even bothering? It's frog and small, I think, that it heals. Uh, there's nothing this way. That's the end of it. Alright, so now we see some Turks. How you doing, Turks? <laughs> Today we're just chilling, though. Got your priority straight, Elena. Okay, this is an actual fight. Now I'm really wishing I had some sort of poison source, but. Alright, so I'm gonna haste Kalyoka first. Okay, that did some damage. Alright, I'm gonna hit. I think Elena will probably have less HP, just at a guess. Let's hit her first. I also think I got fully rehealed, so let's douse them with some Chocomog. I don't get us. I don't actually have slow yet, which is unfortunate because it's really important. So that's basically something I need ASAP. Unfortunately, confuse. I was just about to say, it's not something that I'm going to inflict on these guys, but apparently it worked on Rude. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, let's haste Piley because Piley's my healer. And if I actually need some healing, that's probably a good thing to do. Oh yeah, right. elena has got the barrier on, so let's, let's get rid of that. And I should put Barrier up on all of my characters. And finally Haste Michi. So then I'm pretty much set up. Huh. Even the casting Barrier on Kalioka removes her perfect dodge. It's kind of sad. Stealing from the Turks is probably a good idea, especially given their vanilla steals. I should probably just sit around until... Until then. Uh, I can sense them still. <laughs> Pwned. Alright, I really want their stuff though. Uh... Don't want to waste Piley's turns. Oh, Loco Weed? That's not really that impressive. It seems more like a hint just to. just that it's worthwhile to use Confuse 
on Rude. Gone. Perhaps it means it's possible to berserk Elena. That would be interesting. Though I'm not convinced it would actually help. Alright. Even though I don't have the right element, this still shouldn't be too bad. Especially since Root is confused right now. Like, it's kind of hard to beat that. Free healing. Pretty sure I can't morph the Turks. I, I think it would break the plot a little bit if I turned them into like an iron bangle or something. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm wearing Ale Elena the high iron bangle now. Rude seems really, really slow. Either that, or he just hasn't been acting for a lot of these turns. Let's at least try to morph her. Oh, I think she's just gonna leave. Oh, that's not leaving. Kelly Oka isn't that strong, so let's just have her hit Nishi. Yep, just burn yourself. Aw, that's unfortunate. supposed to heal the enemy? Then I'm pretty sure that wasn't your job. And I get absolutely nothing. What a waste of time. steal it from him? Okay, it's not gonna let me go on right now. So I have to do this. Ah, hey, stop, stop. Let me go into the cave. I get a free elixir. That's pretty nice. And I also get a high potion. And ooh, what's this? A dark and evil save point. Ooh. Oh no. Is this... Five Nights at Freddy's? Is it Silent Hill? All things considered, though, this is... A pretty good moment the first time you get here, because it's just kind of like... What is going on? If you haven't actually played New Threat before. time Cloud isn't the only person having the seizure, probably. Hello, Mr. Smile. How's it going? Uh, we sure have. Huh. A randomizer? <laughs> I did not know that existed, but that's not what I'm doing, so... I am just gonna be doing a regular playthrough.
All right, so here's the deal. When, whenever uh, you get enough quote-unquote SP from battles you fight, you can go to this guy, rank up, choose one of four upgrade paths, and you, you get a bunch of sources to use on that individual character. So here's the upgrade paths for Mishi, and there's actually one more than before. There used to be only... Uh, there only used to be five. I mean, sorry, there only used to be four. Alright, so here's the deal with Mishi. Um, for Mishi, last time I tried to build him as mostly magic. But the thing is... I mean, sorry, last time I managed... Last time I tried to build him half strength, half magic, with the thought being he's always in the party, so if I have two physical characters and... or two magical characters, I can have him fulfill the other role. But... In reality, basically all the time I had was able to use like one magical character and one physical character. So Cloud almost ended up always doing utility roles because like say Eris is better at magic than him and Barrett's better at fighting, so Cloud's on utility, but it's a role he completely sucks at because his dexterity is low, so I'm not going to try that again. I'm not going to try making him half and half. I think it's not going to work out very well. See, the thing is, I kind of want dexterity more than anything, but I was hoping to pair it with defensive stats. I was kind of hoping to leave him in that utility role and pair some dexterity with defensive stats, but all he ends up with is strength which I don't really want on Cloud, because he's uh, primarily a... Like, if he's utility, he's going to be using a lot of turns on other stuff, and therefore I don't want him in the front. The other option is that I go for pure magic and give him a lighter dexterity boost with spirit that doesn't really hurt. Ex-Soldier is basically the sort of thing I did last time, which I don't really want. Mercenary's the pure physical role, essentially. I'm thinking I'm gonna go Makanoid for the vast majority of levels. I might also want to go a little bit of Makanoid, but then switch to Commando, because that way I can get his speed up so that he's, his speed isn't like in the toilet, but then he can have some defenses to go with that. That might be a good idea too. And for now, like I am using him, I would prefer to use him as a magic role than a physical role, so... Yeah, I think it's going to be a combination of Makanoid and Commando. Starting with Makanoid. Alright. Let's... Range by type. Which I'm so glad I know how to do now. Oh. Oh yeah, right. So these increase by 5 now. Instead of just 1, so that you don't have to spend 8 years chewing through all the sources. Though, in a way, it was kind of fun to do that, but... <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so regardless of which path you choose, it's a pretty huge bonus to stats. Like, 15 magic is nothing to sneeze at. That increases magic by 50%. Like, that's no joke. His spirit's even higher now. I mean, he's wearing the talisman, which is why it's so high to begin with, but... All right, so that's Cloud. Oh, it's not gonna let me do anyone else's yet. All right, I gotta find a save point, unless this'll work. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work. All right. So now Cloud is substantially stronger than everyone else. Bruh, I hot second. 
Alright, this time let's not mess this up. Oh, it's still gonna be hard to make this work properly. Let's have Kalioka haste herself. I'm expecting that his limit break will actually kill this thing from here. His defenses were pretty thick, though. He might actually not. I'm gonna use Braver on it. Okay, that might actually help. Nice. Unfortunately, I've still got to do a fair amount of damage. Considering that it can reheal. I'm not sure exactly how to make this work properly. But having more MP on pilot heat doesn't hurt matters. Okay, I'm actually glad he used that. Even though it hurt, like, all get out. Alright, let's hope Kalioka has enough time to get a second turn. And heal up Cloud. Good. This thing might give something really cool. Tent. Okay, so it's not something really cool, but it's M why did it say that its MP was de depleted after it died? That was weird. That said, tents are pretty expensive, so getting one of those isn't too bad either way. Not as good as a cool piece of armor, but... Alright, I think that's good for the moment. Made it through the Mithril Mines, and got to take our first look at the class-up system, the rank-up system, or whatever it was called again. And hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of that in the next episode. I don't remember where the next save point is. See you next time.